Welcome. Uh, my name is Lindsay Lowe, and I am the Senior Global Product Manager for CO2 Incubators with Thermo Fisher Scientific. And I am excited to introduce today the Harrisel Vios CR CTS series. So first, a little bit of context before we jump into the product itself. Over the past few years, we have seen a significant shift in the use of the CO2 incubator from what was more of a traditional research setting to more of this GMP industry and clean room environment, which has everything to do with the fact that there's been a lot of drug discovery and uh, cell and gene therapy work that has been going on in recent years and seeing success that is leading to production needs in a production setting. So as we've been seeing these and hearing about the needs of this GMP and clean room market, we started to dig into what would it take to make a CO2 incubator that is compatible with that type of an environment and the requirements of it. I am excited to show you our first of its kind, next generation incubators used in labs or clean rooms alike. And this is a certified clean room compatible CO2 incubator. So we've partnered with our third party, Tuvsud to validate independently that this product can be used in both an ISO class five and a GMP grade A and B setting. This is really exciting because it's the first incubator to actively control the particulates that it releases into the external environment. So we're controlling particulates. We are making some enhancements to improve the compatibility with uh, cleaning methods often found in these more rigorous settings. And then we're also providing the necessary documentation to support uh, the validation process. The most important part of the VIOCR is without a doubt the particle control system. So this is the system by which we are controlling the particulates in a way that doesn't allow them to get released into the clean room. And this is really in the entire exterior of the unit. We are taking uh, from the front door and we're controlling the particles down and underneath the unit, around the back and out through a sealed HEPA filter on the back of the unit. So this is a vacuum system so that we are really in control of, of the direction the particles are moving. And this system is operational um, during standard operation at 37C and then also during the high heat sterilization cycle during Steri run. So on the back of the unit here, you can see completely enclosed electronics. So a little bit different than what you'd see on a, a typical CO2 incubator. Uh, we've enclosed everything in a stainless steel case. Um, as such, we've added these four inlet filters on the back of the unit. And these are actually pulling air in to help cool the electronics and keep them cool as the unit's running and we've now enclosed this space. So the air is pulled in, it's pushed down in with the rest of the system. And then as you can see, it, it will all come out through uh, the HEPA filter in the back. But there are a lot of details here beyond the particle control system that we've paid very close attention to. First of all, the door is something that really needs close attention on how to make sure that it's compatible with this type of uh, GMP setting. And so we've sealed the door completely with welded corners um, and the entire unit, including the front door, has a brushed stainless steel finish. We've also sealed the front bezel and the uh, ICANN touchscreen. So this is really a two-part uh, solution. One is that it's containing any particles so that they're not escaping um, outside of the particle control system, but also it's protecting the electronics and the touchscreen to make sure that they're impervious to the cleaning methods such as VHP or any kind of hydrogen peroxide cleaning method. We've improved the gasket by getting the Teclon coating off of the gasket so that um, they're, they're not seeing a white powder when the unit is put in the clean room environment. What's really impressive about this is that 
we were able to achieve this compatibility, not only with uh, the 160i, but also with the 250i, so our 255 liter model. And then it's also tested in uh, single and uh, stacked scenarios. So we really covered our bases on this to make sure that there isn't disruption to these clean rooms because it's so critical that the particles remain within the limit and controlled.